and the omnibus. So I was forced into the arches when I was a child. And look, it's come back to bite me later on. I'm awash with the stuff. The Archers is the world's longest running radio show with more than 15,000 episodes broadcast. Despite being a rural flavour show, The Archers is recorded in the heart of the UK's second largest city, Birmingham. You're listening to Monday's episode of The Archers from BBC Radio 4. <laughs> So, if I just update my web page and put your mobile on it... Uh, my own number. Or, actually, you can just hang on to this. Your phone. Well, I can't take it with me, can I? I'll ask Mum to pass it on to you when, uh... Well, after the sentencing. Hey, you might not even get a custodial sentence. You might end up coming home. Not likely, though, is it? Of course it is. You're not some big criminal. It's your first offence. Well, first proper offence. Anyway, so, if I do get sent home... You hang on to that. I'll give you the passcode. Just keep it charged and check it a couple times a day or whatever. Right. If anyone messages with a job, you just accept it and head on over as soon as you can. The thing is, I'm already quite busy, you know, with lectures. And... Keep it to the weekends if that makes it easier. Yeah. Just check in when you can. Make sure anyone who's messaged me gets a reply. Right. Why are you packing your stuff up? Not all of it. I said to Dad, if Kira wants to stop over with Poppy, or if Jake or Mia want to stay, well, they should have some proper space. Gets cramped in this little house. No use leaving all my stuff hanging round if I'm not going to be here. Regular cappuccino to go, Ezra? Actually, I'm sitting in today. Oh, yay. <laughs> Usually in a rush to get to work. Oh, I had some training that finished early, so I'm just going to sit down and treat myself to a bit of a break. Great. So, what'll it be? Um, a cinnamon chai latte, please. Uh -huh. Regular and one of those bad boys. Mm, good choice. <laughs> so, uh, that would be 7.40, please. You don't have any allergies, only it has poppy seeds and walnuts. No, no, all good. All right, take a seat and I'll bring it over. I I'm on my own today, so it might be a few minutes. Sorry. No problem. I'm a lady of leisure. This is morning. Oh, hi, Adam. Morning. Oh, Adam, hi. What can I get you? Hi. Um, well, actually, it's more, what can I do for you? <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> Tom sent me over, said you were on your own today, and, uh, well, could do with a hand. So he sent you? <laughs> yeah. OK, uh, um, well, uh, I know I'm no Ian, but... <laughs> Well, I've worked the pizza van, and I know my way around a kitchen. Right. Apparently, you have a booking this morning, and you're up against it. Sorry, Adam. Uh, yes, uh, I, I'm catering for the South Borsetshire Culture Group. They're meeting here at 11.30. It's their first booking, so it needs to impress. OK, so how can I help? Well, um, if you could handle it out here, I can finish putting their brunch together. Great, sounds like a plan. Great. I'm sorry I was so... Um, uh, you know about you helping. <laughs> Not at all. Now, have you used one of these coffee machines before? Uh, no. It always looks a bit complicated, but, well, I'm sure it's not. Oh. Is it? No, no, no. Well, well let me uh, talk you through it. That's the money shot right there. Mm -hmm. You take your time with the sweep across. I'll look out for any eyesores or ask the client to tell me what they want to avoid. Okay. Got it. There. Landed. Easy as that. So, someone calls up and I talk to them about what they want and then... And make suggestions too, you know? They might want other stuff. As you're there, you might persuade them to get photos of the farm for personal use. Mm -hmm. Pictures of their orchard to stick on the label for their apple sauce or whatever. Be imaginative. Hustle them. R right. Oh, that kind of thing's more you than me though, no? And anyway, don't I need a, 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 a licence for the drone? All in hand, Bradley. You'll be fine. Here, you show me now. OK. So I'm taking it up? Yeah. Right over the house. Uh-huh. That's it? Uh, no, no, no. Turn slow. Uh, could I slow it down in an edit if I had to? Or... I suppose, yeah. Right. But it saves time if you just do it right as you shoot. Uh... No, that's it. Now just bring it down. OK. Whoa, slower, mate. Slower. What's the tree? Uh, I'm trying... No, no, Brad! No, 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 no. Oh, come on, man! Oh, I'm sorry. 
Is it bad? What do you think? Oh, I don't know what happened. It's I... expensive kit, mate. How are you going to film anything if the drone's broken? Oh, is it broken? Oh, well, we need to check it, don't we? Oh. Maybe we could ask Tony or, 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 or Leonard to have a look at it. I'm not going to Bridge Farm. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I'll check it myself. Oh. Um, Adam? Hi, Astrid. Are you uh, wanting something else? I don't think this is a cinnamon chai latte. It tastes oh. more like it might be caramel. Oh, apologies. It's OK. Um, I'll... Get another one for you, uh, with the right syrup this time. Well, thank you. Uh, won't be a minute. I, I had a visit from Alice last week. Oh? Yeah, it was nice to see her looking so well. Well, I'm speaking as a villager and a neighbour now, not as her GP. Right. Um, well, I'm glad she was looking well. So, uh, it was a social call? Yeah, yeah, just to see how I was settling in. Uh-huh. Well, that's good to hear. I'm glad she called to see you. Yeah, me too. And uh, how are you settling it? Oh. Not good. Well, it's fine, I suppose, but sometimes it feels like the bags and boxes are procreating when I've got my back turned. <laughs> it's hard, I'll grant you that, but uh, it all gets done eventually, doesn't it? Oh, that doesn't sound good. Uh, no. Everything um, all right, Adam? Uh, I think maybe not. I keep forgetting a couple of steps here and there. OK, well, uh, I can help for a minute, but I really need to start assembling the sandwiches and plating up. Well, why don't I do that? Sorry? Well, truth is, I'm struggling with the coffee machine. I could do with the whole morning with you to get it under my belt. Oh, well, I suppose all the cooking's done. It's just a case of cutting the sandwiches and putting everything out on the platters and cake stands. Well, perfect. I can do that. And I just need a cinnamon chai latte, please. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, Azra. I uh, used the wrong syrup. All right, mm. I'll get that done straight away. Thanks. And I'll get on with the catering. I'll be here soon enough. Oh, oh crusts off the bread, please. Got it. You, uh, fixed it, or...? Yeah, looks like it. Wasn't too bad. Just that one propeller needed replacing. Here. Uh, made us a brew. Cheers. I am really sorry, George. I never meant for it to get damaged. Nah, nah, it's OK. Yeah, but I was in control of it. Leave it, Brad. Honest. Wasn't your fault. Room looks weird. Tidy, you mean, without all my stuff hanging about. Ah, oh, Mia. Oh? She's been texting. Even Jake sent a couple. Wishing me all the best for Thursday. Nice. They care about you. Don't know why. Listen, you've just got to get through this. Any way you can. I made a promise to come out of it better. Better than what? Better than I am now. Don't be too hard on yourself, mate. I have to be. Says who? Everyone, probably. All good? Actually, no, Adam. What? Why? Because I think we could see the sandwiches from outer space. What? Sorry, Adam, it's just... If you're going to cut the bread that thick and overfill them, it really makes no difference whether the crust's removed or not. Overfill? And they're cut like doorstops. It, it's for women from a culture group, Adam. Sorry, I... I just thought they looked nice and rustic, like your usual sandwiches. Everyone loves those. Yes, for lunchtime customers, but not for... Don't worry about it. I'm really sorry, Fallon. I thought I was going with the brief you should have said. Well, well they didn't have a chance, did I, when they walked in? But groups like them want small and dainty. Look at them. Mm, point taken. It's just Natasha and Tom are keen on repeat business. Anyway, it's done now. I better go and check that they've got everything that they need. <sighs> right, I'm off. Back to the grindstone. <laughs> Are you okay, Adam? Uh, well, we'll see. I think I may have oversized the offerings for the group over there. Ooh, looks lovely to me. Hmm. Anyway, anything else I can get for you? Yeah, I, uh, I'll take a couple of those brownies for the kids, please. Oh, coming right up. I haven't seen Emma in here the last couple of times. I suppose that's why Fallon needs the help. Yes. Um, that'll be five fifty, please. Thanks. I bet Fallon can't wait till she's back. I'm not sure about that. Oh? George is her son. It's uh, a bit difficult. Oh, right. Oh, I didn't realise. Um, oh, I was so sorry to hear about everything that's gone on. Mm, you and me both. We need a couple more pots of Earl Grey, please, Adam. Yeah, I'll see you later. Bye. Bye. 
Did they say anything? What well, as a matter of fact, they did. Uh, you're smiling. <laughs> they love it. Oh, really? Well, yeah, it said it's the whole country farm rustic experience and very tasty to boot. Oh, oh well, that's great. <laughs> One of them did say they'll probably be skipping dinner tonight, but in a good way. <laughs> well, for you. <laughs> Thanks, Adam. I'm sorry, I was so... No, uh... no, no, not at all. I understand it was a close shave. I'll give them a minute to brew. Oh, yes, please. Don't think I could have handled a complaint right now. Of course. Is Alice going to the hearing? I didn't want to ask her in case... Yeah, yeah, I'm the same. Just don't want to rock the boat, given she seems to have found some balance at the moment. Mm. Azra was saying she visited her last week at Beechwood. That's great. I, I didn't know they knew each other like that. Mm, neither did I. But to know she's actually going out after all the staying inside is positive, surely. Yeah. Are you going to the hearing? Yes. You're not sure? I said I'd read my personal statement out in court. Wow. I know, right? N no, it's good. Everyone needs to hear the effects of what happened on the victims. Especially you. It's just... Do I want to do it? Oh, what made you say you would? I don't know. I... I just felt a strong urge to list it all and see it all in black and white. And once I'd written it, I thought I should read it with him there. Mm. So he knows. Not going, not reading it out, felt like I'm scared or like I've got something to hide. You haven't. Whatever the sentence, the one thing he shouldn't escape is a true understanding of what he's done, Fallon. Maybe. I just don't want to be scared anymore. Of anything. You don't have to wash those. It's two mugs, George. Not an entire dinner service. You've been working in hospitality too long. Maybe. <laughs> what are you thinking? Uh, nothing. <sighs> what if I go away for so long? No one remembers me when I get out. Oh, don't be daft. I'm serious. Everyone will have spent all that time doing their own thing. Mum and Ed are already used to it just being them and Kira. Don't. Now Dad and Poppy are going to be the same. And I'm going to have changed too, aren't I? George, don't go there. It's not going to help you or anyone. I don't deserve to be missed. Oi, stop it. But I will miss this place. And I'll miss you. Yeah, right. <laughs> Softy. I mean it, Brad. I know we ain't the same, but... Whenever we hang out, I know you wouldn't be here unless you wanted to be. Well, that's solid, mate. You even stood up to your mum for me when she had every right to say the things she said last week. It's nothing. I know I said it before, but thanks, man. Don't mention it. You gonna kiss me now, or...? Yeah, go on then. <laughs> Get off! Get off! <laughs> Much as you're a pain in the backside... <laughs> I'm going to miss you too, mate. Production. Uh, yep, that's uh, the ball bar. That's this one? Yep, that's. I mean, Haley so wanted to be in their own place when their baby came. It's uh, due in two months. Uh, not much chance of that now. No. I mean, it would have been a stretch for him financially, mind, but. Oh, I just wish there was something practical I could do to help him, Caroline. I, mean, I think the Archers has had this immense popularity over the years. Um, basically because it has always very accurately reflected the reality of life and living in a rural community at whatever